getting Platinum Rank on the Hunt Summit and unlocking the HX Concept Enforcer Unit. What's going on? My name is Sid and welcome back to a channel that has uploaded two videos today already. This is the third one. Maybe you can see this one and the stream I'm going to do today. First, if you go down there, subscribe with notifications on. You can check out the rest of my content, but do stay subscribed, watch the stream. And with those notifications on, you can be the first few to join the stream while I just play The Hunt, because it's now out. This is my last video for today. I'll be playing The Hunt Summit, unlocking the HX concept, and getting platinum rank in that summit. We're going to jump straight into the content, but of course, before, I am part of a podcast, The Animosity Podcast. Link for that will be in the description. It's a podcast with me and my mate hour long every monday if you can you guys should go check it out but link for that's down there let's get into the gameplay and straight away let's go into the hunt summit and waste no time here we go the summit leaderboard i'm pretty sure those aren't hunt colors i think those were the colors for the last one yeah collect my rewards before i collect my rewards i do want to empty my mailbox and a very long grueling time later all of the stuff is scrapped, so let's go here, let's collect the rewards for last summit, let's get into the hunt. Of course, the last summit was the next chase, and there we go, we got the pink nitro, 300k followers, some Lamborghini parts, and the <laughs> most disgusting car in the world. But without wasting too much time, let's go straight into the escape. And I can definitely assure you, I'm not doing this escape in this thing. Now, just by looking at the leaderboards, it's quite obvious to see that the Koenigsegg Regera here is the best bet to use. So here it is, here's the parts I'm gonna be using, and here are the pro settings. Now, I'm gonna favorite this thing for a reason, because there seems to be a, a quite an easy way to go about this. See, if you fast fave to a plane and fly away from this escape, you can then get to the edge of the escape area turn around head back towards the escape at this sort of angle and of course if you're on playstation like i am you want to switch very early but like i said really early <laughs> of course you won't have to switch that early on pc it's just playstation 4 is just abysmal here we go now all this does i'm pretty sure is let you get a lot more momentum which is what you're really gonna need now come on okay so, I have to fast fave very early. Come on. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. This game. <laughs> but, uh, we're through. Just have to not hit any trees on the way to the road. See, that shouldn't be too hard of a feat. See? Because all we have to do is just not, not pay attention. If that makes sense. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's here somewhere. Okay, dirt road. Dirt road, dirt road, dirt road. That, that's a lot more speed. But I don't think I can get to that. No, no, please. Please. Let me get to it. Just let me get to it. Just let me get to at least the road. Just let me get to at least the road. Come on. Come on. Yes. Here we go. Now, um... Yeah, don't really know what I'm going to do from here because, well, that. But you know what? <laughs> Seeing as I'm on PlayStation, so I can't get that good of a runoff in the start, I think that 134k is definitely a decent score. It's not the most distance, but you know what? It's good enough that I got 134k score. Now on to the speed trap. Okay, this speed trap is seems pretty easy. I don't want to say it is pretty easy because that is uh, often the downfall. But of course, let's switch into good old reliable. And that is the Corvette Stingray in drag. Here's the parts, here's the stats, and here are the pro settings. Go ahead and hop in this thing because I know I'm going to. And here we go. I see someone skyrocketing towards me. I'm going to rev up even though I'm not actually genuinely sure. Why is that? Yeah, okay. Okay. If I had hit that, I would not have been impressed, but I think this is pretty simple. That wouldn't have been cool, but 405 miles an hour. That was like four miles an hour off of the, the, the speed that I topped out at anyway. And of course, 125k score. Not the worst. And now an off-road slalom. Now, I know it takes a lot of grinding, but hey, after this, You'll have one of these anyway. But for an off-road slalom, your best bet will always be 
the Hummer HX concept. It's undisputedly just utterly insane. And of course, here's the parts and here are the pro settings. They're the ones I use, they're pretty good. It definitely keeps up with the trend that um, the crew seems to show that if a car is added to the game, it will most likely be grossly overpowered. Almost, I wouldn't say almost every, because there's been a lot of cars added to this game, but a lot of the time, in some of the more niche specs like Rallycross or stuff like that, the ad they just don't know how to balance cars for some reason. It's the, the Porsche became the best Rallycross car, then the Lancer when that was added, the Yamaha when that was added. It's just, for some reason they don't know what they're doing. And I don't know what I'm doing, ramming everything. I don't even know if I'm going to finish this. Am I going to finish this? Surely it's at the top of that. Okay, come on. Let me finish. Finished. Okay. Is that going to be a decent amount? Well, I've got the two times, so it, it's, it's going to... Hey, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> now, this one we can just go straight into because it's a Rally Raid forced event anyway. So no matter what I do, I'm going to be in this car. Now, normally I would definitely suggest, uh, you know, like setting a ghost for these events because it's... I would definitely recommend setting a ghost for these events because Rally Raid, you can set a ghost and realistically you'd need to just to really know what way around you're going, what turns are worth it, what turns aren't worth it, you know. But this one's quite a linear one. I think with this event, you can kind of sort of just, you know, know which way you're going. It's simple, it's straightforward. There's a lot of underwater, which is definitely annoying. See, I've really struggled with... <sighs> like I was saying, I really struggled with this event when I did it on Ace, uh, when I went through every single event and did them on Ace because they didn't update the ace time and the ace objective when they updated the off-road physics. See, because before you would not lose too much speed when you went off-road or off-road in an off-road car, but then they updated it and made it so you would lose like 20 miles an hour, 20, like 25, 50 miles an hour and your only child if you even touch the grass on a hypercar event. It's just, it's, it's shocking. It's shocking. Uh, they didn't update it. So whenever you would go into the water, the objective would just go miles ahead of you. Because, because, because what are you meant to do? What are you meant to do in that situation? You literally can't go any faster. But the game is telling you that you should be able to because the objective can. It's annoying and I want it sorted. <laughs> But I know they won't sort it. But hey, just like that, it's a very linear event. There's not a lot to do realistically. Like, you could get more precise about how you weaved through the trees. But other than that, it's it's there's not a lot of time saved. It's point A, point B on quite a lit... Pardon me, a linear track. I've said that a couple of times now. But there we go. I'm honestly, I don't think that would be a good score. And off I go into the water. I don't think that would be a good score. Now go on. Go on, tell it to me. Okay, 110 to 120K, I consider a decent score. And now an enforcer unit event. Oh, this is gonna be painful. Painful. And here we go. I am not about to enjoy this because this is just gonna, it's just RNG. It's just RNG. It's just whether the hits actually register and whether the they don't, like, you don't get like really buggy spawns with all the all of them like look at that i i, I hit both of them and one of them is still on just whoa what's going on um why are all of them drifting what huh i i um um uh uh huh does uh um what's what's um i don't know what's uh going on let me look at my score but i might try that again i won't if i don't have to i definitely won't if i don't have to no okay i don't <laughs> never mind i'm not going near that again 
<laughs> oh, it's not even that bad in rally raid. I don't mind in rally raid. Uh, speaking of, it's hard to get in rally raid. Did the people who were meant to be driving those cars just kind of um, uh, just switch off? Now, which one is better? Because I have both. Okay. De ah, oh, I don't know. It's definitely a mix. None of them dominate as much. Because the top through the top like six scores are that, and then it's a bunch of Rams, and then it's a bunch of Fords. So I guess whichever one. I mean that's probably because this event type is just completely RNG. So I guess that's that's you know that's definitely probably part of it. But personally, I'm gonna use the Ram. So I'm gonna have to steal all of these parts off of the Ford Raptor, and I'm gonna pop them over onto the Ram. Here are the parts. Here's the affixes and i just don't use pro settings for a lot of the um interception units i'll use it if it's a race but realistically like i said it's rng whether they spawn close enough to you whether they the, the hit actually detects whether they don't go the fucking uh, 200 miles an hour ahead of you it's a lot of rng but without further ado with that in mind let's do this event because this is, should be good. That's two quick kills. That's not a kill, but this one. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. I rammed straight into him and I'm missing everyone now. Oh, I've had a, I've had a man. I've had an absolute man. What? I'm ashamed of myself. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. <laughs> one. D what one and then I have to break so much because they slow down so much in front of me I hate it. I hate it. Like I hate it. I hate it as soon as you get anywhere near Like they'll, they'll, be, they'll be pulling it down at 200 miles an hour and as soon as you get near to them One mile an hour. It's abysmal. It's a it's it's utterly abysmal Oh, well that's one and that's two and that's three Get out the way! That's three because he's just gonna stop there now. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, stop running away! Why are they so good at dodging? Why are they so good at dodging me? And I can never get the perfect amount of not accelerating and accelerating so that I don't like overtake them, and so I don't, you know. Okay, uh, where is he gone? Is he going to come down here? They're not on the map. Okay, you know what? I wouldn't mind this event as much if they just appeared on the map. Like, that would just improve the quality of life. Of I'm just, I missed him, so I'm just going to carry on. That would improve the quality of life of the chase events by so much. It would just, oh, it'd be perfect. It'd be perfect. But they wouldn't. They wouldn't do that. But that was pretty quick. What was that, like 30, 40, 57? Good enough. 120k. Ah, uh, let me be done with this already. Okay, I'm going to leave the Rallycross event. Instead, I'm going to do the Enforcer unit one first because my good Rallycross parts are on the Enforcer unit and not on the Rally 0732, whatever. And of course, the Cadillac Escalade. Don't use any parts on it, just a bunch of Nitro Chemist parts with Pro Settings on them. Don't use any Pro Settings with it, just a bunch of Nitro Chemist parts with Nitro true pure refill speed all that good stuff and here we go the final fully r whoa okay i keep forgetting how fast this thing actually is even though it's a cadillac escalade but for some reason this thing in the straights is just insane like the thing in street would, wouldn't pass like 70 miles an hour maxed out but apparently now i'm breaking the land speed record because it's an enforcer unit in rally cross i've already in both my two videos today i've already laughed at the fact that this is um this thing is in rally cross which just baffles me to the next level can he stop can he stop like look at that look at that like why do they just slow down what are they hmm? one more and there you go that has to be a good time, you know. I actually, to be honest, third video into this, I kind of enjoy the Rallycross ones too. I'll say it. I will say it. I kind of enjoy the Rallycross Enforcer Unit events too, okay? 
sue me. I thought I'd only like rally raids. I thought that rally costs would be dreadful. I'm already platinum. But I just, yeah. How many people are ranked that I'm already platinum? 25,000. Okay. But now to switch over my part. And here it is, the Lancia Rally 073. That's what it was. Here's the parts. Now, my, my rally cross parts aren't good. I need to recalibrate all of them again. And the pro settings, please. I've got pro settings. There we go. There's the pro settings. You can pause, put those on. I definitely need to recalibrate my part. But as I say that, we can head into this rally cross event. Uh, I have made a lot of content <laughs> today. Jesus. But hey, all of that content has been so I can get that content out to you guys so you can watch the content, enjoy it, and have a fun time playing the crew. And maybe the content makes your guys' days just that little bit better. If I can do that, then I'm happy with what I've done. Now this is fairly straightforward. I do quite like how this thing handles. But yeah, it's it's just a it's, it's a rally. It's a rally. But hey, the hunt's out, the hunt's cruising, we're getting content until three weeks in where just like the chase there was no content left instead there's just another summit and you know that's gonna be quicker as well because the first one in this uh, okay realistically i'm gonna run out of content for this much quicker but i've got some big plans coming um next month now not gonna lie this thing like spinning out. I can drift around the turns, but it's not. Nah, yeah, okay. What's going on? I'm behind Eli. What? What is? What's actually happening? What's? What's? What's going on here? Why am I getting violated? Here we go. I restarted the event because I realized. Oh wait, this event you can skip almost every single turn except for a lot of them, and spinning out will still <laughs> spin out. This thing is definitely some pro settings. You'd you'd more want to. Spend your time getting used to, especially considering how much these things seem to love spinning out. But just like that, you want to skip that turn. You can skip this one as well. Just respawn at the top of them. Again, right here. Now, I believe one of them, and I don't know which one it is. But you can't skip it as well because you need to make sure you're turning. And you kind of don't want to do that. Okay, there we go. That one worked. This one, I believe. You want to be turning when you spawn or not. You know, or not. But we can finish this off. I'm not actually behind, like, the AIs this time. And I'm also not too sure how long of a rally cross event this really is. Because if it's a longer one, then the few spinning outs might not matter as much. But realistically, I need this HX concept. And I need to not be spinning out. So, ooh, okay, I need to not spin out, like I said. And... Ah, drive in a straight line! Okay, these pro settings! That's, you really need to get used to them. You definitely really need to get used to these pro settings. Which I am not. This thing is like someone's buttered the wheels. I guess at least it's now just about as handleable... <laughs> just about as handleable as the uh, actual Group B rally cars. But we're almost there. One more spin out for the for the fun of it, I guess. Coming down here on the home straight. Tried to use all my nitro, but I didn't realize we were that close to the home straight. But there we go. Rally car. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Not too bad. And I have to switch around my part once again, because this time we're in a monster truck event, but we're playing the event in a rally cross car. Now, there's a couple of monster truck events that I'm aware of that are races. This could either be kind of fun, very annoying, or very boring. Are the three events that I'm aware of. But here's the parts, here's the affixes, and here are the pro settings. Let's toss this thing into the event. It's Dakota Grass... It's uh, Dakota Grasslands. Meaning it's the boring of the three options. Hey, at least it's not the one in the, uh, in, in the, in the mountains. Not the mountains, the desert area. Because that one would have just been painful in a rallycross car. Oh wait, no. Do I know which one this is? Two. Oh. One. Okay. The one that this isn't is the easy one. That is the monster truck event that's been in the game since launch. 
uh, that's that's easily the, the, the one of the best ones. But I apparently just stopped thinking about my knowledge of uh, monster truck events. But there is actually another monster truck event that's uh, a mooded one. So I mean that one would have been okay, but just kind of boring. Also, there doesn't seem to be a mood for this summit. See, because every summit, or at least the summits that have like a vibe, would have a mood attached to them. So I'm surprised that this one has absolutely no mood. Considering it's literally the hunt summit. So they could literally just put the hunt mood over it. Unless I'm doing what I did in my video and just not realizing that there's the filter over it. But this just looks like the normal game to me. Unless I'm blind, you know. That's also very, a, very, a very high possibility. Of course, as usual, I could safely assume that a lot of the jumps are not worth taking. So I'm not going to take them. Avoiding them all. Trying not to miss checkpoints. It's a monster truck event. It's not exactly the most exciting thing in the world. No, nope, there we go. Come on. Huh. I mean, this is quite boring. I, mean, I guess I'll show this bit because I've just avoided that jump. And then there's another one that comes up here that I didn't avoid. But maybe I could have. But either way, I think it's definitely nearing towards the end. And of course, the Animosity podcast link is down in the description and so is the link to my discord server the sidwatch server go ahead and check that out it's a good community it's a good little bunch and join the server we always welcome people who are new not to mention the fact that i'm going to be streaming probably maybe half an hour after this video goes up depending on how long this video is and is to edit but yeah i'm going to be streaming today as well so i hope you guys are able to join that let's look at what score i got Decent? Decent. And that puts me round about 307. Not too bad if I don't say so myself. I think we're definitely guaranteed in getting the Hummer HX concept. But you saw me do the summit. You saw me play it. I've done tons of other videos today. Tons meaning two. But I'm going to continue to do tons of more videos. So I hope you guys can check those out. And I hope you guys like this one. That's been it from me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video because I enjoyed making it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to subscribe in a bit.